How's my haircut? <laughs> when do you usually wake up and go to sleep? I go to sleep 11 p.m., wake up around 7 a.m. Not a very interesting routine, but my routine is super consistent, 99% of the time. And what's the first thing you do when you wake up? I read lots of news. I read local news, U.S. news, tech news, and then I start with email. Which three things do you like to do the most when you're not working? When I'm not working, I'm an avid outdoors person, so we like going camping. This year we got into the trail running. During the winter we go skiing. Tell us who inspires you. One of the people that really inspires me deeply is Mihailo Pupin, uh, for many different reasons. He was an American and Serbian. Uh, he was a scientist, and during the very tough time of World War I, he was one of the people who actually helped the country in a big way. The best professional advice you've ever been given? I got lots of advice from many of my mentors. Um, I'll name them. Praveen Sishadri was talking about importance of entrepreneurship within big companies. Uh, Kobe Avatal was talking about uh, how paying tuition, if the tuition price is low, is actually super valuable for somebody. And then uh, Yoram Yakovi was always talking about the importance of strategy in developing the Dev Center. And what about the worst professional advice? Worst professional advice? <laughs> worst professional advice probably came from my mom. <laughs> Because she, she's usually a very passionate person and she was saying you should always 100% speak your mind and that's probably true in 95% of the cases but not in 100% of the cases. So, so sometimes you know, emotions should be kept in check. The most inspiring book you've read? I've read many inspiring books. One that I'll call out is Tipping Point from Malcolm Gladwell. It's a book about how uh, small teams or individuals can make a huge difference if they apply the right pressure, the right place at the right time. Your favorite movie? Uh, my favorite movie is the whole Star Wars serial of movies and cartoons and everything. My kids and I, we watched this so many times, so it's definitely, I've read the books and everything, so that's my, my favorite. And your guilty pleasure movie? My guilty pleasure movie, again, it's a sci-fi movie, Starship Troopers. Most of the people have not actually seen it. Uh, uh, it's not a very high quality movie, but again, it's, it's a sci-fi story about the ideals and about the future.